In this video, I'll show you how to connect your USB pen drive to your Sansui TV. This will work with smart Sansui TV from Android and Roku and also with older TV models. So let's get started. First thing is to make sure that the pen drive is formatted in FAT32. If you have an Android Sansui TV, it works like this. You can just plug the USB pen drive in the TV, then select the gear icon that is on the top right corner on the home page, then select device preference, select storage, select your pen drive name, and then select erase format as device storage. If not, you can always do it on your PC, connect the pen drive and select with the right click over the name of your pen drive. Then you have to select format like this. And then under file system, the only thing you need to change is to make sure that it's FAT32. So if it's not, just click on it and select FAT32 from the list and then press start. It will just take a few seconds. Now that you know that the pen drive will work with your Sansui TV, you need to make sure that the video file or music is supported by the Sansui TV. I have posted here what format is actually accepted. Now after that you can connect the pen drive to your TV. If it's a Roku Sansui TV you need to go into Roku Media Player then select your pen drive name from the list and then select video, audio or photo and you'll be able to play whatever you want to play on your TV. If you have an Android Sansui TV then you need to go on apps on the first page, on the home page, and then select multimedia player. It should be in the list. If it's not, no problem. All you have to do is to go on the uh, right side completely where you see a plus symbol. Just tap on it and then you'll have more apps and you should see then multimedia player. Then all you need to do is to select video, photo or audio depending what you want to watch. If you have an older Sansui TV that is not a smart TV, I have posted here what I found from a manual on internet. So you can follow those steps to get to your uh, files that are on your pen drive. If this didn't work and you're still not able to play the files, all you have to do is to disconnect your Sansui TV from the wall socket during five minutes. During that time, I want you to press on the power button of the Sansui TV. Sometimes it's located under the TV, sometimes it's on the back. Just keep press on that power button 30 seconds. When everything is done, the 30 seconds and the 5 minutes, you can now reconnect the TV to the wall socket and everything should work again. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a comment down below and also leave a like. It will be very appreciated. See you in the next one.